We'll go right to the phone calls. First up is Lisa, You're listening in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi, Lisa. Hello. Thank you for taking my call, Hank. My pleasure. I have a question about Pharaoh. God hardened Pharaoh's heart. It seemed like he didn't allow Pharaoh to exercise his free will. So can you explain why God would have hardened Pharaoh's heart? You know what's interesting about that very passage that talks about God hardening Pharaoh's heart also gives the flip side, which says that Pharaoh hardened his own heart. So on the one hand, God hardened his heart. What was the occasion for the hardening but the mercy of God? Every time God showed Pharaoh mercy, Pharaoh responded in disobedience. You think about the plagues. God shows miraculous works, works that no enchanter can duplicate. They can parody the work of God, but they cannot do the work of God. And Pharaoh sees the mighty hand of God and yet resists God. Now, not all in Egypt did the same because a mixed multitude left Egypt and followed Yahweh, the God of Israel, to the promised land. And so the mercy of God was the occasion for the hardening of Pharaoh's heart. So we see both sides of the coin. And I should note here that there are antinomies in Scripture. And sometimes we try to fully resolve them. And in many cases, they cannot be fully resolved. We simply do not have the wherewithal to fully comprehend one God revealed in three persons eternally distinct, or Christ being one person with two natures. Those are things that we leave in mystery. We don't take those things that are obviously contradictions and shroud them in mystery. That would be unfair. But there are many things that we can only apprehend and we cannot fully comprehend. And so we bow our knees humbly before God's revelation of himself to us. 